So, um, as Dimitri uh, said, there was a, a command uh, program by Ian White and Julian Higgins called MetaMiss. Um, and this command had some options that uh, do not exist in the new command. So, there, there, there were some options uh, about imputation methods. Um, but now, as Dimitri said, it is important to account for the uncertainty of the assumptions we do about missing data. And that's why we haven't implemented this um these uh, options in the new command so the new command program by me and ian white is called metamis2 and the main options about defining uh the uh, missingness parameters are imp mean uh, which is the option that defines the mean for the uh, imp parameter imp sd is the option that defines the standard deviation for the imp parameter imp core is the option that defines the correlation uh, for the parameters across groups. Um, then there's an option compare that we can use in order to run simultaneously to different uh, analysis and compare the results. And there's an option sensitivity that runs a sensitivity analysis on a range of different standard deviations uh, for the IMP parameter. And so we can see how the results change um, as we uh, assume more or less uncertainty in our assumptions. Um, so th this is how we can install uh, the command um, and it requires STADA 13 for a more recent version because um, it runs the models also for network meta-analysis and so STADA 13 is required for that. So this is a, a paper uh, that describes the MetaMIS2 command that it was very recently accepted for publication by STATA Journal so it will be out um, in a while. So uh, you should have a do file and uh, the, two the two data sets. So if you want, either you run the commands uh, simultaneously with my talk, or you can just follow my slides. So this is um, this command. These three commands install the required commands to run the analysis. Uh, the metan command, which is the standard meta analysis command in Stata, um, the metamis command, and the metamis2 uh, command. So we let's start with the. Uh, the Hotomus uh, dataset, the Haloperidol one, you can load it just by drag and drop it into Stata. And if you uh, run the list uh, command, you can have a look at the data. We see that we have for the study, the name of the first author, the year, RH is the number of uh, events in the Haloperidol group, FH is the number of non-events, MH is the number of missing participants, and we have then the same data for the placebo group. So let's see first, uh, what is the missing uh, rate for its, um, for its study by running these commands here? So we see that here we have the Beasley study that Dimitri, Dimitris talked about, and it has a uh, 41% uh, missing data rate. There is also another study, Selman, which has 50% missing data rate, and the other studies have um, um, much less uh, percentage of participants being missing. So here we use the metan command just to run a simple meta-analysis of this data. <coughs> and here is the forest plot of this meta-analysis. We can see that we have um, an odds ratio of 2.09 with a confidence interval 1.49 to 2.92. So this is the, uh, the standard uh, random effects meta-analysis. And we can run the same analysis with the meta misto command just by, uh, by not define, defining any IMP parameter, so metamis2 calls the metan command, and if we run this, we see again that we uh, obtain exactly the same results. And um, now we want to see uh, whether there is any difference between the results of studies with missing data and studies without missing data, so we create two groups of studies, and we run uh, here using the metamis2 command, or you can do the same with the metan command, we run a subgroup analysis, and uh, what we see is that the studies with missing data give quite different results from studies without missing data. So we can see here both the fixed and random effects model for the two analyses. Um, so this is an indication that probably um, missing data is, um, is a source of heterogeneity across the studies. Um, so let's say we want to assume now that the odds of response in the missing group uh, is half uh, the odds of response in the observed data for both arms. So in order to do that, uh, so this means that the IMOR is 0 0.5, but 
for uh, dichotomous data, we work on the, uh, on the log scale, and what we define in the command is the log i more. So we need the log of 0 0.5, which is uh, minus 0 0.7. So in the metamisc uh, command, we need to define imp mean equals uh, minus 0 0.7. And uh, if we run this command, we get the results here. And we can see that there is a small difference here uh, in the summary effect, and the confidence interval is also a bit different. And uh, we can run exactly the same analysis with the metamist instead of metamist 2 because for uh, binary data, the two commands are almost equivalent. And if we run, uh, the results we get are exactly the same. And now let's assume that the odds of response in missing participants are half the odds in the observed participants for placebo arm. And the odds of response in missing participants are twice the odds in the observed participants for haloperidrose. So we make different assumptions for the two groups. And so again, we need um, the log of two, which is um, 0 0.7. So in the IAP, IMP mean option, we need to define first the log i more for the experimental group, and second, the log i more for the uh, placebo group. And running the command, we get these, these results. So the, that is, um, there is a difference between these results and the available case analysis we did at the beginning. Now, let's, if we want to compare the two models and see the two analyses simultaneously, we use the compare command. So here we have, um, here we have the, the analysis with IMP parameters. And here we define the available case analysis, which is equal when uh, equal to the case where the IMP mean is zero. So here are the two results, and we can see the summary effect is a little bit different, and the confidence intervals are a little bit different. And actually here, the confidence interval is uh, larger. This is the available case analysis. This is um, the analysis that we have assumed uh, the IMPs, uh, the IMP parameters. And here the confidence interval is larger because we do not take into account uh, the missing participants. Now let's say we assume uh, ACA in both groups, which means I more, <coughs> I'm sorry, equals one, but the I more is allowed to range from one, uh, fr from 0 0.2 to two. So we make we allow us for some uncertainty in our assumption. And in order to implement this, we need to define actually the standard deviation of the IMP parameter. And this is, um, we can derive that by using uh, this formula, uh, which is, can be easily derived from the formula for the confidence intervals. So the standard deviation for the, uh, I, for the log I more is 0 0.36. And so using this value, we run the command here, IMP mean zero and IMP SD 0 0.36. And here we have the results. Um, now let's say we want to assume that in, in the Harlow-Peridol group, uh, the IMOR equals one and ranges from 0 0.25 to four. And in the placebo group, the IMOR is uh, 0 0.5, ranging from 0 0.100. 25 to uh, 2, and we will compare these results with ACA. So we need first to, de to derive the two standard deviations. Um, and what we see is that for both groups, the standard deviation is uh, 0 0.71. So we need to define just one standard deviation that applies to both groups. And if we run the command, here are the results. What we see is that there is a difference in the summary effects. And again, the, uh, the confidence uh, interval here is a little bit different. And uh, what we see also is that um, the, the weights of the studies are not the same in the two analyses. And this is because we account here for the missing participants in the studies uh, that have missing outcome data. And here we will run a sensitivity analysis uh, on the on a range of st standard deviations, and we can get this plot. So here we have the summary effects. So the standard deviation of log i more ranges from zero to five. Here we assumed um, an IMP mean zero, but we can change this value if we want. And so here we have the summary effects for the different values, and here we have the two. 
confidence interval, the lower uh, confidence interval limit and the upper confidence interval limit. So we see how the result changes. And uh, let's see quickly also the continuous data set. More or less, um, the commands are similar. So here we have, uh, we load the metazapin data set and if we see the data we have here, these are the data for uh, um, the placebo group and this is the data for the mirtazapin group. And if we run again the command to see uh, the missing data rates, we can see that most of the studies they have large missing data rates. So we expect that this will affect the results. Um, here we run the ACA using the metan command. These are the results. And uh, using the metan is to command, we can get the same results if we do not define uh, any IMP parameter. Now let's assume that the mean change score in the missing data is the same with the mean change score in the observed data for both ARPs. But this is with some uncertainty, we're not sure about this assumption. So we assume that the mean in the missing um, could be three units lower or three units higher compared to the observed. Com uh, to the observed. And we will compare these results with ACA. So we need first to find the standard deviation of the IMP. Uh, and we can get it this uh, using 3 over 1.96. So the standard deviation is 1.53. And we run the metamis with IMP mean as 0, IMP SD 1.53. And we compare with the available case analysis. And here we have the results. Uh, there is again a difference. And um, the confidence interval of the available case analysis is small, is sorry, is uh, wider. Uh, and this is because we gain precision by including um, the, the missing participants and also heterogeneity drops. And again, we can run a sensitivity analysis. So these are uh, the summary mean differences and these are the confidence intervals as the standard deviation of uh, the IMP uh, increases. So the uncertainty or uncertainty about the assumption is larger. And for updates on the command, you can look at this website. And uh, I think uh, we have finished with our talk and now we are ready to answer a few questions uh, that have uh, arised.